Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a Minolta D-Image Scan Dual 3. This is model AF-2840. And if you go to the Minolta website, you can download drivers for this device up to Windows XP. And there's also drivers for Macintosh and Linux. Now... I'm using a Windows 8.1 Pro operating system and I tried to use the uh, <clears throat> the drivers in compatibility mode for XP but I was unable to get it to work. However, there is a software online called ViewScan you can download that does work with this device uh, on newer Windows operating systems up to 11 it says the only drawback is the software will put a watermark on your images until you pay for a subscription but it does work so I will show you that using view scan all right so <clears throat> first thing you want to do is download view scan to your desktop computer which I've done. There it is. View scan. And my computer is obviously on, but the scanner itself is off. So, you can uh, plug in your scanner, make sure it's powered off, put in your USB cord to your desktop computer, and then you can go ahead and power on your scanner. Uh, I want to make a note that the manual, user manual here, says first to power on your scanner and then power on your desktop. However, that caused my Windows 8 computer to crash and went into a loop, so I had to do a startup repair. So I am revising those instructions because this does work for me. First power on your desktop computer, have your scanner off, then turn your scanner on. Make sure the door is shut. Then come over to your desktop computer and launch the ViewScan software. And you can hear it communicating with your scanner. When you get the solid green light, you're ready for going, scanning. All right, back to the software. Now you offer you tips, you can just close that. And you can skip the uh, registration if you want to. Next step is to load your film or slides. Now each of these squares, I'm assuming, are for each individual image. However, I just have this micro strip. And they do not exactly fit between the squares of the holder. So I'll have to maneuver it uh, off and on to get the image centered and the scan the way I want it. <clears throat> just wanted to point that out. And by the way, each individual square is scanned and then the software gives you the option to save that image and then it moves on to the next image on in the placeholder. So, it says to load your film or or slides, but in this case film emulsion side down. So it says if you hold up your film like to a light, bright light, and look at the film, and if you can see the images oriented properly, then when you put it down, then it should be oriented correctly with the emulsion side down. And my images were kind of hard to make out, but it says if there's any film markings, and you can read those, then it's oriented properly, but... In my case, the numbers are backwards. 
like 10 instead of 1, 0 is 0, 1. Um, but it does look like it's oriented correctly to me, image-wise. So I'm going to go with that. And we'll see what we get. If it's wrong, you just flip it over and scan again till you get it right. Anyway, this is the film holder. It's got these two tabs that go on the end. Then come here and uh, snap it in place. It also has this optional holder here, uh, apparently for slides, I guess. Anyway, we're going to try scanning this little film strip. So, first thing you do is open the door to the line there. And then find the arrow. The arrow should be up on your little slide holder. You feed it in here to the arrow. <clears throat> the notch that's what happened see the notch sticking up there there we are okay and you feed it in here up to the arrow <coughs> then come back to your software and you can either pre preview it or scan I'm just gonna go ahead and scan And this can be a slow process because it does scan up to 11 million pixels, it says, or 2820 DPI. By the way, looking at the software here, it does give you options. You've got uh, media, you can choose color negative, image, slide film, black and white, microfilm. I just went with color negative, which I believe it is. These are negatives from actual printed photos. And it gives you three options for how you want to save your file, JPEG, PDF, or TIFF. And also, you can see you can rotate your image. You can do a mirror, flip it. You can even choose your resolution. 2820 is the max. You even got filters, color, so it has some pretty neat features for the software. So that's what I mean, it didn't quite get centered between the individual squares of the placeholder, but if I wanted to, I could make you make you around with it till I get it centered, but I'm just giving you a, a sample here of how to use the machine. This is an old photograph I took fishing one time. And it's give me the option to save it now before it goes on to the next image. I guess I'll go ahead and put it here as a sample. Ah. 
Yeah, would you like to purchase? It pops up and asks if you want to uh, purchase, which I didn't. And then, I believe the next, to keep it going, you just click scan again. Okay, so it takes a little getting used to the software. I guess you have to go down and click on frame 2 to scan the second frame.
See down here, it tells you what frame you're on. Frame 2. Yeah, you can kind of make out what the picture is. Looks like some birds there. I think this was taken at a zoo, actually, years ago. I did not take good care of these negatives, so they look pretty bad. But uh, you can even choose your brand of negatives here. Might be Fuji. I'm thinking, but I'm not positive. Anyway, I guess it only detected film in frames one and two. Anyway, you got various settings you can play around with till you get the negatives the way you want. And uh, you can even orient it. Let's try that. Let's see. Rotate, let's try left. Ah, there we go. Now you can see it better. Two birds at the zoo. Anyhow, I'll bet it do a nice job with uh, regular slides or regular film negatives instead of this micro film that I got. Anyway, that's how you can use the Minolta D-Image Scan Dual 3 using ViewScan software. And when you're done scanning, you push this button here to eject the film tray. And you can safely remove it. And close the scanner door. And turn it off. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Have a nice day.